Let's go 3S power on this low C two wheel drive. Oh my gosh, look at that go. I, I saw the, yeah. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. <laughs> What's up guys, today we're gonna do a speed test with the low C 22S Maxxis. Hey everyone, I'm Abby. I'm Nate behind the camera. Amelia is hanging out with us today, being awesome. Hawaii is back home because you know the road beside this track. We are the RC Sailors. Welcome to our RC family. I am so excited today because we have this Low C 22S Maxxis short course truck. I've always wanted a Low C on the channel and I was so pumped that about a couple weeks ago when we got this, I posted a picture on our Patreon page of the hood of this just as a little teaser for you guys if you're over on our Patreon account. If not, it's linked in the description box below. So they've known this is coming to the channel for a while now, they just didn't know exactly what it is. So today is the day to see how fast this Lucy truck can go and it's the first ever on our channel and I'm so excited. And Nathan's making fun of me because I keep saying excited, but I'm excited, okay? This is a 110 scale short course truck. It's ready to run in the sense that it has a receiver and it comes with the transmitter, but you do need your own battery, your own charging setup. This is gonna be our first vehicle with the active vehicle control, AVC. So we'll have to see if that makes it drive any different because we've never had anything with that. It does have a brushless motor that's mounted here in the back. It's a 3300 KV fuse brushless motor. And then we have a 60 amp fuse brushless ESC. So we should see some speed with this thing. It is two wheel drive, rear wheel drive. Mud flaps. Oh, nice. I love mud flaps. Yeah. And the first run we're gonna do is with a 2S 5,000 milliamp LiPo battery, and then we're gonna run it with a 3S battery in here too. So make sure you stay tuned till the end to see both batteries in this to see if there's a big speed difference with the two. This is a really nice Spectrum DX2E transmitter, so I am ready to just go. So let's see how fast this 22S Maxxis can go. All right, Abby, you ready? I'm ready, let's get some 2S speed. All right, let's do it. It's all trimmed up, ready to go. See what you got. It's pretty powerful. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we'll get back. We'll do. I'll do better on the on the way back. We can do this. Let's do this. And then I got to give it a shot. You definitely have to ease into it. Yeah. Okay. It looks fast, even on 2S. That looks really fast. Wow. Woo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Let's see what you got. And then you get one more, one more shot, and see if you can beat your speed. You hit 49 kilometers an hour, so I'm just just guessing that might be about 35 miles an hour. Right. So one more time, see if you can beat that. Then I gotta give it a shot on 2S. Then we're gonna slap that 3S battery in there and see if we can beat that. I'm sure we can. I'm just seeing if I can hit 50. That's full throttle. It looks fast, and that's just a 2S battery. I mean, that's really impressive, but this is low C. I'm so, so happy we have low C. And whoever designed this thing, Ooh, did a really good job designing it. Let's see what you hit. <laughs> 49 kilometers an hour. All right, let me see what I got. Yeah, da definitely. And then we'll do some 3S. I have never driven a low C. I'm very excited. One pass, I'll just do one pass. And then I want to slap the 3S battery in because okay. I want to see if this can hit that 50 miles an hour, which what's that going to be guys? Like 70 kilometers an hour? I'm trying to learn my conversions. Okay, here we go, here we go. Full throttle, full throttle. Feels good. I love the bright orange. Oh, oh, first like flip, that. you're I fired. The, I think the GPS took the brunt of that. <laughs> oh my gosh. 49 kilometers an hour, I didn't beat you, we tied. But here's what's really cool. I wanna show you guys how this battery comes out of here. Normally we'd have to boom, 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 get all those pins off of there, right? Yeah. Check this out, you turn this check, over. Check it out. What are you doing, that's weird. <laughs> now, you can do this, with, I actually did this with a thumb earlier when I put the battery in, you it's can like twist you that around. you need a quarter. A quarter like. would be great. Yeah. I grabbed my pocket knife. You can just use just about anything to flip this around. It's pretty neat. A quarter would be nice, but it locks in place when it goes completely horizontal. You flip that over and then there's your battery. Nice. So quick, easy battery is access. Is that one of your smart batteries? That is one of my smart batteries, nice. yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay, the 3S battery is in here. I am going to reset the peak speed, even though we don't really need to, because we know it's gonna go faster. We'll reset. Just get back down to zero. And zero. since you were first on the 2S, I get to go first on the 3S, I don't want right? to go first. Okay, all right, it is. 
Okay. So we're... I have a story. Okay. I'm pretty excited to share. Lucas Oil apparently is part of this trek. Yeah. I was the first marching band to perform at the Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Huge twirler. Now ease into the throttle so you don't shoot off to the side and then go, go, go. There you go. Good. Oh, you just flipped it back. Now we just we just got some wind. I just felt a gust of wind. That is crazy. We've never We have never had one do that before, have we? Let me make sure the GPS. Is that because of the wind? I think so, because we got a gust of wind. Okay, it's only at 52, so let's uh let's try that again, Abby. Alright, I'll ease into it a little bit more. Alright. I thought I was easing into You got it, you got it. Maybe it's like a wind tunnel. Oh my I gosh, it did it again. There goes the GPS meter. <laughs> okay, I got the GPS back on. Abby, I think if we go with the wind this time, it should help it and yeah. it won't act like a parachute. It's so. crazy, it's crazy, but All right. this is fast. It's crazy fast. Let's go 3S power on this low seat, two wheel drive. Oh my gosh, look at that go. I, I saw that, yeah. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh. Okay, let's see how fast you got. Oh man. So I think part of the reason it's doing that is because if it's not front wheel drive, that's less weight in the front, right? Yeah. Plus the battery that we're using is actually, it's a smaller battery. Oh, ho, 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 ho. 70 kilometers an hour. Ah, 70, I, th I, I think so. I mean, that's close. I'm just ballparking it in my head, but I'll have the conversion on the screen. That is awesome. Okay, I gotta try it. I gotta try it. Your okay, turn. I'm just gonna kind of ease it down. All right. 3S power. This is the first time that we've ever started with a 2S battery and then done 3S speed test. It's a longer speed test video. What do you guys think about us doing this? Give us a thumbs up if you like it. Give us a little feedback in the comment section below because in this case, I think that if you were bashing, you'd want to use 2S power and we're really doing some racing 3S power. Here we go, I'm easing into it. Full throttle and I went ahead and hit the brakes because that's only rear wheel drive brakes. You know, if you have yeah. four wheel drive, all four tires are locking up. But right. in this case, you only have rear wheel brakes and I'm at 70 kilometers an hour. So that is amazing, Abby. I mean, this <laughs> thing is so fast that when we go into the wind, it acts like a parachute. Now, I know some of you guys told us on a recent video that we did with an Arma Sinton, it was 3S power. You said, you know, these guys, they go so fast, some people drill little holes in the back and the top of the truck so that it doesn't lift up with so much air. Is that something you would do with this beautiful low seat? I don't want to put holes in it. I want to drill holes in it. I say, let it fly. <laughs> let it fly. No, this is, this is deserving of one of these days very soon we're going to go to the track in uh where's that at abby lavalette western yeah Union. the lavalette track because it's really nice CRC. this is one of them that we're going to take with us when we go it's very deserving look at this that's what it's meant to do it is very deserving it's so fun to see it slow down yeah because it's so <laughs> amelia is thrilled guys i can see why losi has built the name for themselves that they have because they're 70, 70 kilometers an hour again this thing's amazing now we're gonna do a bashing video probably within the next day or two on the channel so if you're not subscribed definitely subscribe to at least stay tuned for that we do all kinds of rc stuff and abby what do you think of that speed that's amazing isn't it move, move oh, it move do it, do it. i know i know but look move it around like watch the steering oh, watch the steering servo look that's see, see? Move it. like that's it's like, like an airplane auto stabilization on an airplane so when you're driving around a track that's going to like help you go around curves and oh, stuff I'm so excited oh yeah that's i am so really cool. impressed with this thing we've already got got it beat up a little bit oh. from parachuting and a couple of flips uh, but this is fun it put a smile on my face the entire time I'm still just so excited, Nate. Yeah, I know. That we have a low seat. Me too. And thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to go subscribe to our Instagram page so you can get sneak peeks of everything that's coming to the channel a few hours before the video is posted. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!